So this is a pretty handy tool to have around the shop. It's your 6980. It's by OTC. It's a rotor drum puller. And the thing works pretty well, and there's not too often that we use it. But in a case like this, these drums are froze right on this Jeep. The shoes are backed off, so it's not an issue of it being, you know, stuck on the shoes. You could use it in that instance, but it's probably going to rip things apart. These are actually stuck on the hub here. We could go through, we could heat them up. We already beat on it a little bit with the air hammer, but that's noisy. And uh, this works quite well, so we'll just lube the thread here a little bit. We will be smart about it. We're going to stick one of the wheel nuts on it. Shouldn't go flinging anyways. But we want to be able to put some tension on it. Now, in this case, these this style drum, they're really, really flimsy. The face of the drum here is very, very thin and it bends very easy. But in this case, we're replacing the drums. So we're going to put some tension on this little fella. And it's got a lot of tension on it right now. It's actually starting to bend the face of the drum out. So we're going to hold some tension on it. That's probably good enough. We're going to do a little toot with the air hammer here. It should crack it loose. It went just a little bit there, I think. So we'll keep going. There she goes. And that's pretty much all you have to do. It just saves a whole lot of beating and pounding. Gets a little scary at times, so. Now we should be able to just take it the rest of the way. It may be hung up on the shoes now. But like I said, if it peels the shoes and everything with it, it doesn't matter. I just want it off at this point. But I think we're pulling past. The other side was ground right down to the rivets, so. And it's probably because nobody's been able to get these off or nobody's taken these off to check them in the past. There we go. And this side here is also beat right down to the rivets. But like I say, the face of these drums are quite thin. So using this, yeah, it destroys them. But in this case, we had already quoted the customer on shoes and drums because we were pretty sure that this was gonna happen. So if you guys are working in the shop in the Northeast and you don't have one, you should get one or if you're anywhere else where cars get rusty, uh, they're definitely handy to have around, particularly with brake rotors that have a tendency to get stuck on the outside portion of the, of the front uh, hub or on the rear hub for that matter, the ones that build up rust around it, you know, the Mazdas, they love doing that. Just make sure you put a couple wheel nuts on it to keep it from flying across the shop. Even if you don't think it's gonna go flying, it doesn't take much tension on it to create a whole lot of pressure. So anyhow, thanks for watching.